put up THP Kelly here um, finally getting a chance to do some of my Morgan Cup recap stuff to mind the fact that I'm playing with my laptop here my phone is actually on top of my laptop um, where where to begin what what a journey um, I joined Hackers Paradise I suppose I should really start from the start um, I joined pa Hackers Paradise in March, April of 2011. So I was just kind of coming in, new, fresh into things, seeing what was actually going on with the Morgan Cup, uh, the inaugural Morgan Cup, and it's it was it was pretty impressive. I have to say, um, I I followed along to a lot of the stuff, and then when Morgan Cup 2.0 was announced I decided I was going to go for it and Regina being Regina just kind of went along with it and entertained me for the sake of entertaining me which she does a lot of um, decided I was going to have a go when when it was announced Morgan Cup 2.0 I think I only had like 250 posts and the minimum post was 500 um, so I really kind of busted my backside to get my post count up so I'd be eligible um, which wasn't easy because you're new into something like this it is it's not easy to start in something like this being the hackers paradise um, but once you're in you're kind of in for good as such um, so I really worked hard and get got my post count up which is a big thing as well for anyone who's thinking of joining next year um, you know get your get yourself out there and start commenting on things and start getting involved in conversations with guys guys will chat back to you there's no doubt in that but you know you just gotta make the effort and guys will appreciate it so which is what i did um and i'm very grateful to hawk ryan hawk in particular because he pm me and asked me was i going for the morgan cup and i said i was and he said it was fantastic and he hoped i'd get in and i kind of went over some of my video ideas with him and he kind of helped me along the lines of getting in well he didn't help me with getting in but he helped me with my ideas which was fantastic um so i've got to give a big thanks to him in particular and i still have to get his address i gotta send him over a gift um my videos i just thought I'd go for something outside of the box and anyone who's seen my audition one for our own personalities I think I went completely outside of the box no one ever expected a video to come up of a guy running on a treadmill then to stop rip his shirt off and have the tattoo of the Hackers Paradise logo on his chest um, I just thought I wanted to do something that was completely outside of the box like I say but I was a bit unsure about my video because it was only 10 seconds. Um, my other video with me swinging the Razor Hawk Club, I was quite happy with that. But I just wasn't sure about the other one considering it was only 10 seconds. And then there was a lot of talk on the forum of guys saying, oh, is it okay if I go one in two seconds over the 30 second allowance? Um, so I was like, I could be in trouble here with the fact I've only 10 seconds. Um... But the the viewing party was traumatic for me to say the least, um, because the viewing party was on at like nine Eastern time, which would have been two in the morning here. So Regina was actually down that weekend. So we had gone to bed, gotten up again to get like we gone to bed to get a few hours sleep because Regina was up early for work the following day, um, and we got up again and. Honestly, I don't know how scared I was when we were watching the viewing party and my video came up because I don't know something happened um, that they actually stopped playing the videos because my name was just left on the screen and I was like, what's after happening? Is something wrong with my video or is something after happening to the form or whatever? Um, but it was like 30 seconds where nothing happened on the videos and it was the longest 30 seconds of my life. 
Um, but I, I do remember JB saying, this is our Irish guy, this is the Irish entry to the judges. And lo and behold, everybody loved it. I actually remember Big Z's comment was 10 seconds of awesomeness, which was a nice comment to get. Um, and then it was just kind of a whirlwind after that. Um, D-Deck had actually put up on the thread the viewing party tried welcome to team paradise um which was kind of nice and it was just crazy after that because i think the viewing party a lot of people a lot of people didn't really know who i was on the forum but i think after the viewing party people started to kind of know who i was which was cool um and then myself and how's that were the first two to be announced as being picked um obviously myself and team hackers and how's that and team paradise again the announcements were made in the middle of the night here so i think i'd gone to bed i gotten it took me a long time to get to sleep because i was thinking about it and worrying would we get in wouldn't we get in um when i say we i mean me and regina um i have to do that now for some reason she makes me say we uh, <laughs> um but I remember it was like 2 o'clock in the morning and I had my phone next to me and I can get on the forum on my phone as most people probably can. Um, and I just, when I saw my name, I just didn't know what to do. I was like freaking out inside in the bed but I couldn't move, I couldn't scream, I couldn't do nothing because Regina was asleep next to me and eventually from all my fidgeting and moving around inside in the bed she knew something was wrong she woke up and she said what's wrong with you? I said we're in we're going to Myrtle Beach and I gave her a massive hug and I think probably could have hurt her because I squeezed her so tight um, and I just couldn't believe it I think I stayed on the farm for about another hour after that just posting on stuff and thanking guys and it was phenomenal it was amazing I don't think I got much sleep that night. And then after we got announced and we I was selected as a Callaway staffer. It's a huge honour for me because anyone who knows me and knows my bags, um I've always had Callaway clubs. I've had the Big Bertha the original Big Bertha, the Big Bertha four five four, I had the FDIQ, I've had the Razor Cock and now I have the Razor Fit. Um same with woods i had x-series woods i've had diablo hybrids i've had x20 irons i've had x22 irons i know i had the razor x black irons uh, the reason i look over there because my bag is behind me um x-series wedges now i have the forged wedges i've always had an odyssey putter now i have the new metal x odyssey putter so i've always been a callaway fan and for me being a Callaway staffer was just mind blowing. Um, the potential, like at the same time when Morgan, our tour rep, messaged us and said, Callaway have basically opened the doors and pick whatever you want. It was just like a kid in a candy store. I didn't know what to do. I want, I wanted muscle backs bad. But I was like, no way. It wouldn't even be possible for me to hit them. Um, but I got my fitting done and I went through the whole process and it was phenomenal to actually have stuff start arriving and then the bag started to take shape and it's just an amazing feeling and I don't I don't think anyone can quite put words on it how cool it is to have boxes arriving at your door constantly with Callaway stuff um, it's just an amazing feeling and it was a huge privilege for me and I'm very thankful to Callaway. And then I suppose the next thing after that would be actually going to Myrtle Beach. Um, it was kind of surreal for me. I've never been in America before, neither has Regina. Um, it was a long days of, day of travelling. We were up early, we were on three flights, three flights, not three flights. Uh, and it was just a lot and cookie being cookie 
had offered to come and collect us, um, which was wrong. I don't think I actually talked a whole lot on the way down to Polly's Island. But previous to that, actually, when I was tired, I was cranky coming off the flight, and Cookie was standing in the baggage area, and I just shouted, Cookie! And I'd say everyone in the airport turned around and went like, what in God's name is going on here? And I gave him a massive hug and it was like a friend that I'd known for years. And it was it was pretty cool considering it's a guy on the internet. You've never met him before. I've talked to him a few times on the forum. A lot, a lot actually. But and next thing this guy is standing in front of you and you give him a massive hug. And it's like you've been friends forever. I don't think you're going to get that anywhere else. Um, so that was pretty cool. And then we were driving down to Polly's Island. And there was a massive lightning storm. And that was that was unreal to watch. Um, and then we get down. And Stephanie was there. And Stephanie was really nice. And it was, it was kind of surreal. And in a way that. I never expected something like this to happen. Um, lo and behold, I'm in America. I'm playing golf and I'm getting engaged and stuff like that. But you just you don't expect things to happen like that. I'd never expected something like that. I would have never expected to get in, let let alone be a part of the winning team and get engaged stuff like that. I would have never expected that to happen. But I'm going off on tangent. Um, Cookie's wife Stephanie is an amazing person. She's a really, really good person, as well as Cookie. Um, they had already bought food in for us, which was fantastic because we were starving by the time we got there. Um, and then Chunky called over. And again, it's just another person who shook his hand and you gave him a hug. And again, it's the same situation where you meet someone for the first time. And it's like you've been friends all your life, and it's like you're not going to get that anywhere else but THP. And then we stayed, Chunky stayed for like an hour, <coughs> excuse me, and we just talked and we laughed and stuff like that. And it was, it was unbelievable. And then we'd kick Chunky out because he was after drinking all the beer, and he'd go back to his place to get more. And we just went to bed. Um, but it was just don't think like I was tired on Tuesday when we got there but I I enjoyed every minute of it all the travelling I loved it um, meeting Cookie, Stephanie and Chunky absolutely loved it and and it's just it's an amazing I, I, it's, it's hard to describe how much fun something like that is um that's kind of my recap on getting in and getting to Myrtle Beach. So my next video will be on Wednesday and Thursday. So I will try and get that done either tonight or tomorrow. Thank you.